Hello, my name is Tania Simmons, and I am the instructional coach at Liberty Drive Elementary School, and I have worked for Thomasville City Schools for over 20 years. I've spent the majority of time at Liberty Drive Elementary teaching fourth and fifth grades, and I also spent a little bit of time at Thomasville Middle School teaching sixth and eighth grade. Um, but my specialty and what I love is elementary, and I've been a part of the Liberty Drive staff for a oh, whole long time, 20 plus years. Um, so I uh, want to share some couple fun facts about me. Um, one, I do have a 22-year-old son um, who is a senior at North Carolina A&T State University. So this is his senior year of college. He is majoring in graphic design. So very proud of him. Um, and something else about me, I love to bake. I love to shop. And I also love to sleep. So those are the things I like to do in my spare time. So I had the pleasure of beginning our book, um, and remember, we are reading the one and only Ivan. So if you have your book, you can follow along with me or you can just listen. But I will be reading the first 10 pages of the one and only Ivan. Hello, I am Ivan. I am a gorilla. It's not as easy as it looks. Names. People call me the freeway gorilla, the ape at exit eight, the one and only Ivan, mighty silverback. The names are mine, but they're not me. I am Ivan, just Ivan, only Ivan. Humans waste words. They toss them like banana peels and leave them to rot. Everyone knows the peels are the best part. I suppose you think gorillas can't understand you. Of course, you also probably think think we can't walk upright. Try knuckle walking for an hour. You tell me which way is more fun. I've learned to understand human words over the years, but understanding human speech is not the same as understanding humans. Humans speak too much. They chatter like chimps crowding the world with their noise, even when they have nothing to say. It took me some time to recognize all those human sounds, to weave words into things, but I was patient. Patient is a useful way to be when you're an ape. Gorillas are as patient as stones. Humans, not so much. How I look. I used to be a wild gorilla and I still look the part. I have a gorilla shy gaze, a gorilla shy smile, I wear a snowy saddle of fur, the uniform of a silverback. When the sun warms my back, I cast a gorilla's majestic shadow. In my size, humans see a test of themselves. They hear fighting words on the wind, when all I'm thinking is how the late day sun reminds me of a ripe nectarine. I am mightier than any human, 400 pounds of pure power. My body looks make made for battle. My arms outstretched span taller than the tallest human. My family tree spreads wide as well. I am a great ape and you are a great ape. And so are chimpanzees, orangutans, and bonobos. All of us distant and distrustful cousins. I know this is troubling. I too find it hard to believe that there is a connection across time and space linking me to a race of ill-mannered clowns. Chimps, there's no excuse for them. The Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade. I live in a, in a human habitat called the Exit 8 Big Top Mall and Video Arcade. We are conveniently located off I-95, which shows at two, four, and seven, 365 days a year. Max says that when he answers the trilling telephone, Max says that when he answers the trilling telephone, excuse me, Mac works here at the mall. He is the boss. I work here too. I am the gorilla. At the big top mall, a creaky music carousel spins all day and monkeys and parrots live amid the merchants. In the middle of the mall is a ring with benches where humans can sit on their rumps while they eat soft pretzels. The floor is covered with sawdust made of dead trees. My domain is at one end of the ring. I live here because I am too much gorilla and not enough human. 
Stella's domain is next to mine. Stella is an elephant. She and Bob, who is a dog, are my dearest friends. At present, I do not have any gorilla friends. My domain is made of thick glass and rusty metal and rough cement. Stella's domain is made of metal bars. The sun bears' domain is wood. The parrot's is wire mesh. Three of my walls are glass. One of them is cracked and a small piece about the size of my hand is missing from its bottom corner. I made the hole with a baseball bat Matt gave me for my sixth birthday. After that, he took the bat away, but he let me keep the baseball that came with it. A jungle scene is painted on one of my domain walls. It has a waterfall without water and flowers without scent and trees without roots. I didn't paint it, but I enjoy the way the shapes flow across my wall, even if it isn't much of a jungle. I am lucky my domain has three windowed walls. I can see the whole mall and a bit of the world beyond. The frantic pinball machines, the pink billows of cotton candy, and the vast and treeless parking lot. Beyond the lot is a freeway where cars stampede without end. A giant sign at its edge beckons them to stop and rest like gazelles at a watering hole. The sign is faded, the colors bleeding, but I know what it says. Mac, re Mac read its words aloud one day. Come to the exit eight, Big Top Mall and Video Arcade, home of the one and only Ivan, Mighty Silverback. Sadly, I cannot read, although I wish I could. Reading stories would make a fine way to fill my empty hours. Once, however, I was able to enjoy a book left in my domain by one of my keepers. It tasted like termite. The freeway billboard has a drawing of Mac in his clown clothes and Stella on her hind legs and an angry animal with fierce eyes and unkempt hair. That animal is supposed to be me, but the artist made a mistake. I am never angry. Anger is precious. A silverback uses anger to maintain order and warn his troop of danger. When my father beat his chest, it was to say, beware, listen, I am in charge. I am angry to protect you because that is what I was born to do. Here in my domain, there is no one to protect. So I've read the first part of our book, The One and Only Ivan. I read the first 10 pages and I'm gonna sign off for now. It was a pleasure, bye-bye.